Kern County School Districts, along with Kern Behavioral Health, has seen an increase in students and even staff having trouble with their mental health. Now, schools are utilizing their resources, such as counselors and psychologists, to help those that are struggling the most. There's really nothing that replaces in-person interactions between students and their teacher and their peers. Robert Manzaros with the Kern County Superintendent of Schools says that students' mental health has taken high priority for Kern County school districts because of the pandemic. One of the biggest shortcomings of distance learning is that true connectedness and relationships, which are uh, the core of social emotional well-being, are really hard to uh, achieve through uh, a computer screen. With depression, mental illness, and suicide on the rise nationwide. Many school districts around the county are working towards making sure their students' voices are being heard by implementing programs and on-staff counseling services. We have counselors uh, in the schools for the children uh, available for them to contact at any time. They're on standby at all times. Kelly Richard, superintendent for Wasco Union Elementary School District, tells 23ABC that they have had an increase in parents and students needing help during the pandemic and that counselor teams go out and help families that may be struggling in any aspect, whether it's mentally or financially. School's always been a safe place for kids to go during the day, and they don't have that right now. It's a bit of a difficulty, and the counselors are very busy. Rosedale Union School District has also seen an increase in students reaching out for help due to their mental health, and they too have created resources for those that are struggling. Created um, a plan for social and emotional learning. We are using a um, lessons that our staff have created based on current needs of students, and so our students are getting those weekly. According to Krista Silverhill with Rosedale Union School District, students are also receiving one-on-one -on -one check ins with staff to make sure that they are doing well emotionally and mentally. But there are also ways that parents can be on the lookout for any signs of depression or suicidal tendencies. See a deviation from your kid's typical behavior. If they're withdrawing more, if they're not as talkative, if they just look down or look become more angry, argumentative, those are all signs that something different is going on with your kid. And a good sign that, hey, maybe it's a Maybe it's a good time to have them talk with someone or just get some help for them. For those who may be struggling or if your student may be showing signs of depression or anxiety, there's more information on our website for resources, turn23.com. In Bakersfield, Bain Fernie, 23ABC, connecting you.